Hello everyone, I hope you are all doing well. My name is Okan Yildiz and uh, some of you may already know me from LinkedIn. I have been involved in the field of cybersecurity for many years. And currently, I work as a lead security engineer at a corporate company in the UK. My interest, profession and passion have always revolved around cybersecurity. Driven by this motivation, I want to embark on a new video series, and I decided to start by highlighting the uh, big risk that Diana Stanley posed in the tax filtration. As you know, this is a cruel and serious topic in the world of cybersecurity. In fact, uh, years ago, back in 2016, I wrote a detailed article discussing uh, the NSA security and tunnel interest. You can find the article through the link in the video description. Uh, today, Reputable companies are investing significantly in the NS tonic. I have also come across claims from prominent big cybersecurity vendors who assert their ability to implement heuristic based blocking measures. Now, let's find out if these brands can truly really deliver on their promise or if it's just mere claims. To explore this, I have carefully selected a few leading brands that I personally use in my professional life as well as this widely recognized in the industry, especially through platforms like G2 and Gartner, uh, where they have received extensive remits. Uh, in this series, I will conduct uh, the understanding test on five or six major vendors. Uh, these vendors are not only ones I am familiar with from the industry, but also ones I have laid at a uh, through review platform like G2 and Gartner. Uh, today, we will be testing the Palo Alto Next Generation Firewall product, it's one of the most promising products in terms of DNS tunneling. And Palo Alto claims to be capable of detecting and blocking heuristic DNS tunneling attack, including ultra slow DNS tunneling attack. Now, it's time for um, us to put these claims to test. Uh, let's take a look at our testing topology. The test will conduct it in three steps, gradually increasing in complexity. Uh, you know, um, Iodine and I will be using iodine and the most common uh, used for the anastoly for the signature based test and I guess a uh, lot of uh, penetration tested uh, using iodine uh, tools uh, for many years. And second step is for the uh, heuristic based test, I will be using a tool I have developed myself uh, since I haven't uploaded it to GitHub yet. Vendor 7 had the chance to create signature for it. Also, when my video series will finish, I will upload the GitHub. And finally, if successful in the previous steps, we will subject them to ultra slow DNS tunneling test. After the completion of the video series, I also plan, on, plan share the result of the vendors I have examined in a comprehensive, a comprehensive table format as a summary. All right then, let's start uh, with our first test video. And I wonder, what will happen? Let's take a look uh, at my testing topology. And um, I have a Windows client where I have installed DNS tunneling tools. In addition uh, to that, I have an authoritative DNS server. And between these two, uh, there is a Palo Alto Next Generation Firewall. Uh, let's now see how my tool is working. Uh, first, I encode the file, then I send DNS request and collecting this data on the authoritative DNS server. Let's make sure that all rules regarding DNS uh, tunneling um, in Palo Alto have been defined. We have already uh, DNS block rules and collecting the details and examining policies. And yeah, we have uh, already below uh, DNS tunneling attacks. And also, um, we have blocked uh, suspicious DNS categories, and we defined as a policy in the security tab, and clicking the monitor, examining the threats, and if Palo Alto uh, detect any threat, uh, we will see uh, threats on this screen. And all right then, let's start uh, our task we've already. And I am using Iodine Exe and using my configuration. And we, I guess, the Palo Alto is blocked us and refreshing the page. Yeah. 
Uh, we can see the Palo Alto is quite successful in the signature based detection and quickly detect iodine. We are seeing a um, critical attack and the iodine being stunning tool for threatening. Now, let's move on the next steps and send the poem uh, I prepared for Palo Alto using the Venus Tunnel links to uh, I wrote the server and this is the poem. I will use uh, this file. And now let's move on to um, DNS Tunneling Server. And I am running my DNS Tunneling Server site application and starting to listen to traffic. And let's start the attack. I am seeing we already get response from my custom DNS Tonix server. And I am examining we are receiving a uh, traffic and examining the folder. We don't have any file yet. And we go back to the NS Tonic client. And, and still, we are sending DNS uh, request and this file um, on the client. Yeah, we are seeing finish message on my uh, tool and going back to server. Yeah, we are seeing so many character on the screen and examining the DNS tunnel folder again. Yes, uh, we are seeing new file and clicking the detail. We are seeing Palo Alto plan uh, on the my client side. And it's appeared that the file has been sent and we are examining um, Palo Alto threats again. Yeah, I can't see any detection and Palo Alto didn't detect this attack. And we are quite successful on this test. And thanks for joining us uh, in our DNS tunneling test video. We have put the Palo Alto to the test and checked the, if their claims hold up. Cybersecurity is a serious matter and it's important to stay informed about the light threats and solutions. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs uh, up and consider subscribing to our channel for more insightful content. We value your suggestions and requests, so feel free to drop them in the comment below. And stay tuned because we will be testing the installing with the new renders very soon. Keep an eye out for that. If you are wondering who is next, uh, you can write uh, your guest in the comment. Remember, stay secure and stay vigilant. Take care and see you in the, in the next test.